And the people sinned a great sin, for they had made them a god of gold. So what you just saw there was a literal golden idol, a golden calf statue of Donald Trump being wheeled into CPAC last night. CPAC is the biggest annual convention of conservatives in the United States and probably one of the biggest in the whole world. And it brings together a whole bunch of people, the vast majority of which remain deeply devoted to Donald Trump. And you see it there. Literally, you have Trump fans wanting to have their photo with the with the statue, you know, taking selfies with it, almost in awe of it. It's literally from the Bible, guys, which is so ironic because so many Trump supporters and so many CPAC attendees and speakers will profess themselves to be deeply devoted Christians. And they bore him upon their shoulders and rejoiced, saying, This be our God, O Israel. Those who will not live by the law shall die by the law. snake before you took me in the covid 19 vaccine is equivalent to 666 and again i don't use gematria it's divination this is shown to us because the enemy uses it so it's no coincidence that a covid 19 vaccine equates to 666 in the english which is the six count gematria count the number of a man Six, the second wave that they keep raving about. Six, six, six. This is all six count English Chimatria. New York, don't forget, is six, six, six. But the bottom line is you need to believe on what Jesus did at the cross. He bore the sins of all who believe on him. This is what you need to understand because without that understanding, you will not be able to enter the presence of God. It just, he cannot look upon you when you are loaded with sin. And the only thing that washes that sin white is the blood of Christ. I mean, just look at these coincidences when it comes to 23, 46, 69. These uh, explain everything. When Adam and Eve were thrown out of the garden, is you think it's an accident that the word Eve was assigned the number 2332 in the concordance? The mirror of the spiritual beings that they were in the garden and they were cast out, cursed. And Jesus is the one who reversed the curse. Even the word 2346 in the Hebrew concordance is wall, which represents the enmity that God put there, the hostility, the hatred between the seeds, which happens to be Hebrew word 2233. Again, mixed 23, good 23, evil. Cain and Abel. And Jesus is our peace. He's made the two one. He's broken down the middle wall. Do you understand? Of partition between us, betwixt us. He's our intercessor. Just like in Isaiah 53. Look at the word for intercession 6293. The 23 and the 69. It's one or the other. You're either going to be 23, meaning in spirit, in Christ, redeemed, or you're going to be 69. 
and he is the intercessor that's covering your sins with his blood just happens to be in the Bible 46 times. I mean, come on. It's just amazing. The sixth hour to the ninth hour. It's all coded throughout the Bible. It's beautiful. There was darkness. Okay, think about this. When Jesus, the light, was crucified, darkness was upon the whole earth. And the veil, the middle wall, was torn, rent down the middle, giving access to all, to the Father in heaven, who believe on Christ Jesus and his atoning blood. And I've gone through this so many times, but it just never gets old. Luke 23, 46. Father, into thy hands I commend my spirit. And having said thus, he gave up the ghost, the 23 separating from the flesh reborn 23 equals spiritually reborn in christ you are justified in him plus one 24 glorified just like first corinthians 15 53 from corrupt to incorrupt making a 24 and it's no accident that jesus is the greek word 24 24 that's christ and us the body do you see this is a heavenly right here now then first of all in this analysis i took the blood into a laboratory in israel i asked one of the people i work with in, in antiquities where is a good laboratory that does reliable work and they said such and such such and such I took it I just said please examine this blood and tell me what you can tell me about it all right they said well look we're gonna reconstitute it we're gonna put it in normal saline and keep it at body temperature for 72 hours with uh, gentle swirling all right that's their business that's great I said now I want to be there when you check it out they said fine so I was back they checked it out I said now uh, they said it's human blood we can tell that they did whatever tests they need to do and then I said take some of the white blood cells and put them in a growth medium and keep them at body temperature for 48 hours and they said well that'll do no good because it's dead blood I said would you please do that for me and they said okay we'll do it so anyway I said I want to be there when you take it out and examine it so I was back there they took it out examined it under a microscope and the one technician called the other one over there and then they called the boss over there and they were talking Hebrew a mile a minute there for a little bit and they looked at me and they said Mr. Wyatt this human blood only has 24 chromosomes in it everybody else has 46 you see 23 from your mother 23 from your father 22 autosomes from your mother 22 autosomes from your father you get an X from your mother you may get an X or a Y from your father all right this blood had 23 chromosomes from the mother's side one Y chromosome only you see the ch a child could not have developed if they hadn't had the autosomes from the mother. So all of his physical characteristics were determined by his mother's side of the family, her autosomes. His maleness was determined by this one Y that came from a source, not a human male. Then they said, this blood is alive. And then they said, whose blood is this? I said, it's the blood of your Messiah. <laughs> and I assure you, those men's lives have changed. You're welcome. One day, Jesus is coming. 
You may be at church. You may be at work. You may be asleep. God grant that you will be ready when he makes his personal appearance. My God, what if his appearance occurs?